Hi, I'm going to briefly talk you through what's going on on Monopoly Craft. Uh, <clears throat> so, we uh, what I did here was I graphed some curves here, and so this is the demand curve. Okay, you should be pretty familiar with this. Uh, from competitive markets, they're going to look something, remember, like this. This is our supply curve. This is our demand curve. Very crooked. Uh, I don't like that, so we'll do it over again. So. You know, we should be familiar with uh, basic supply and demand. You know, there's lots of suppliers, uh, lots of people on the demand curve. Well, this demand curve is is similar to what you've already learned there, um, but there's only one firm. So, in for this firm, it's going to combine some of the other ideas that we've used. So, this is the marginal cost curve. So, this represents each ad additional cost of each additional unit to the firm. So, the firm cares deeply about that. And then this here is the marginal revenue curve, this, this green line here. So uh, I got that from taking the derivative of the total revenue, and uh, there's lots of videos on there how to show you how to do that. That's more of a uh, kind of a basic calculus concept. But anyhow, uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this just so, so as not to confuse you. So um, say this, uh, this company has some kind of monopoly on uh, some kind of technological innovation, uh, patent, whatever, it doesn't matter. So um, really for any person, the rule is always going to be, in any firm really, um, is that you're going to keep doing something uh, until its marginal benefit is equal to the marginal cost. And so in, in business, it's going to be where the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. So what we're going to do is, um, is we're going to look for that. So here's the marginal revenue to the firm. And here's the marginal cost. I'm going to look at where they meet, and they meet right at this point right here. And so at that point, uh, that's to produce two units, okay? Uh, and the uh, cost at that point is going to be four, okay? But since this firm has a monopoly, they're not going to charge uh, this four unless the somehow the, the government re requires them to or whatever. They're going to charge whatever the, the demand curve is at that additional or at that at that production unit. So you just follow it up to where it hits the demand curve. We look over here, we see that the, the price that this monopolist is going to charge is going to be eight. Uh, and the profit maximization point uh, is, is production point rather is two. So in other words, they're going to produce two units and they're going to sell them for, for eight, eight uh, dollars each. Okay. Now, um, if this was a competitive market, they would produce all the way out here, okay? Because the marginal cost curve really is a supply curve uh, in a competitive environment, but not here. So um, there is a deadweight loss, okay? So uh, this whole area here is the deadweight loss, and the way to calculate that, let me get rid of that real quick. The way to calculate that is so this is the loss to consumer surplus. And this is the loss to producer surplus. Now the firm is okay with that because the firm is just captured. So uh, they, they lose out on this area here, but they're gonna gain this whole area here in terms of, in terms of uh, profit really, because well, I haven't shown you their, their uh, average total cost curve. But um, so, this is that if you're asked to cons produce to can calculate rather sorry to calculate the deadweight loss it's just the the area of this triangle and then the area of this triangle so it's one half base times height uh, and you can do that it's not super hard um, if it's a uh, if you're asked to do maybe the dynamic profit it's this whole uh, or sorry, the dynamic revenue, it's this whole box here, okay? One thing I haven't shown you is the average total cost. So so let's say um, that you got an average total cost, I'll use like a blue, you know, use orange thing here. So if we've got like an average total cost curve, something like this, well then this firm um, will be breaking even at this if they charge that $4 price. But they're not going to, so this whole area here is going to be profit. Okay, um, and then down here is the the cost. So below the average total cost curve is the cost that they're paying, uh, and then this is the profit. 
Now, if, if we had a situation where the average total cost curve didn't look like that, but met rather maybe it was out here, something like this. So here in a competitive world, okay, if, if this is a you know, regulated monopoly where the firm has to charge a certain price or whatever, um, they would op be operating at a loss. So this would be maybe true of, of like a power company or something like that. Um, but if they were granted the monopoly through either the trade secret or whatever, um, in, in a monopoly case, they would make a profit. So they'd make this, this profit here. Um, and then this whole this whole part part here will be their their cost. So monopolies aren't necessarily evil, um, but you just have to pay attention to where the uh, the average total cost curve is, and that's how you can figure out their profit. You're always looking for profit maximization, and then follow that up to wherever the demand is, and that'll that'll give you the um, the price that the monopolist will charge.